Hello, my name is James Smith from BMC Software. I'm a technical support associate for Blade Logic Network Automation. And this is a video to demonstrate troubleshooting issues with device jobs where interactions are failing. As you can see, I have created some jobs where I've taken some snapshot with the device and I've induced errors so you can see how this works. So for example, in this job, we see that the job failed, and the error message is a timeout waiting for expected response for a specific command. Unfortunately, this is not necessarily a um, usable error, and will need to be troubleshot in order to determine exactly what's going on. But this does give you an idea that we executed a command, we expected a response and we did not get that response. Now if I click on the failed link, you will see the transcript in detail and this gives you more information not only about the job and the device, but it gives you a transcript of what happened when we did various aspects of the job to the device. So for example, this is the login section um, or message of the day, we prompted for a password, we went in enable mode, we executed a password. Um, but again, we're looking for why this happened, why this failed happened. One thing to keep in mind is that the network automation software will always try to log out of the device. So the issue will never be, or almost never, be in the logout section. So for these types of errors, what you want to do is in the transcript, find the logout section, go up one level, and that typically is where your error or issue is going to occur. So as you can see, we executed the command show running config, and the device responded with the configuration and then gave us this prompt. However, according to the error, we're actually expecting a parentheses for a prompt, a prompt and you can see that a parentheses was not returned by the device. Now, as you can see, all that the transcript shows you is the echoing from the device. So any commands that we've sent are echoed back, and then any responses are echoed to the screen. To get more detail, we can rerun the job using the include debug and trace, which I have done on this job here. Um, and when we look at the transcript, and we look at that same interaction section, you can see we now have these debug messages which provide a little more detail as to what's going on. Um, you can see that BNA was looking for this prompt and matched it. Uh, this was up in the Discover Core section. And then um, we can see that we're sending the show running config command. This is the echo. This is the return from the device. Um, and again, the response that we're expecting is a closed parentheses, but we do not see a closed parentheses, so therefore after the time, it times out. And as you can see, the timeout is 180 seconds for this interaction, so uh, three minutes after this, we should see the next timestamp, which we do down here. To correct this type of interaction problem, we go to the device adapter. Uh, you're going to need to export it into a text editor. I personally like Notepad++. It's just a freeware. And then we can look for the command that we're executing, and then we look for the response. Now, in this case, where our response is the closed parentheses, and we are, we need to correct that. Um, in this case, since we do have a prompt variable that's been captured previously, then we can execute that prompt and see the response. Uh, we would save this, go to the admin tab and the device adapters, and we can import that adapter that we just modified, and then rerun the job with the correct adapter, and we will see that the job will complete with no errors. I hope this provides some insight into troubleshooting these types of errors.
Thank you and have a nice day.